Hi, Kylie here. Welcome to my channel. So one of the fun things about having a new channel is that I can experiment with the content quite a bit. Today I'm reacting to a vlog from the channel Travel Vlog 4. The woman's name is Ivana. I believe she's from the Netherlands. And her vlog is entitled, I Try Food Shopping at Lulu Mall Bangalore, Indian Supermarket Foreigner in India Reaction. And yes, she gave me permission to react to this. I have traveled in India, but I've only been in the Chennai, Madras area. That was back in 2001, so I know India has changed a lot since then, so I'm not sure what to expect with what we're going to watch. But it looks good, so let's get to it. Welcome to the first Lulu Mall in Bangalore. Hi, my name is Ivana, and I've been living in Bangalore, India now for four years. I have been to Lulu Mall in Kochi and I love that one. Lulu Mall Kochi holds the title of the largest mall in India and now recently the mall also opened in Bangalore with a massive hypermarket. The mall is so big that I actually couldn't even include it in this video because it would have been too long. In terms of size, I wonder how this compares to malls in the United States. Is a hypermarket? Is that a supermarket? Please drop that in the comments because I've never heard that before. Just know that the mall is situated in Rajajinagar and that there is free parking. So if you're coming by car, you don't have to worry about the parking space. In today's video, however, they have Cold Stone? I don't even know where the nearest Cold Stone is from where I live. I am only taking you to the hypermarket because like I already mentioned, it is massive. I easily spent two hours here because they have everything from blankets to kitchen utensils up to a massive health and beauty department you can find anything and anything here it could easily be a store on its own i have to say what i really enjoyed uh, were the well, i'm seeing some american brands already like colgate toothpaste and whatnot i wouldn't be surprised if they had a big international section or selection indian beauty brands as you can see here um, there are a lot of hair oils and also some ayurveda hair care but also some indian digestives of these hajmola is super super famous this pomegranate flavor the pink one is one of my favorites the orange one is the classic flavor if you're a foreigner really you should do this it's an adventure <laughs> and then the purple one is the tamarind flavor what i really love about this place is that they also have famous foreign brands like this coconut sugar scrub do know that i think it's at least 20 to 30 percent more expensive than what you would find abroad but i like the fact that they have it and there are a lot more brands international brands that you can find here as well one indian brand that i really really love is plum it is vegan uh, as per my knowledge and they have some really really nice products for all my beauty lovers this section is a paradise i could have easily spent two hours here it's just American exploring products, all these lip balms like what look how many they have and then these lotions i need to go back and smell that mango melon lotion because i forgot to do that my first impression of the supermarket and the mall it is massive and i'm so excited because i haven't been in a supermarket in years that's not a joke in years thank you covid for that one of my favorite things when i'm traveling is to explore supermarkets so i'm very very excited to start the tour of this lulu hypermarket actually right here behind me at the puja artifacts see this is already reminding me of like a target or a walmart even well more target because target is a lot nicer than walmart and this place seems to be clean and bright and just organized and beautiful even. Hinduism is the largest religion in India with almost 80% of the Indians identifying as Hindu. Puja literally means the act of worship That's and is an lot, important 80%. practice in Hinduism and Buddhism. So doing puja is basically worshipping the gods and there are certain items that you need for that. There are many items and I am really not sure about uh, what they all are for. But I definitely do know that, you know, lamp oil is part of it because you need a light. And then also over here, ooh, what is all this? Incense okay, maybe? Incense sticks are also definitely part of it. Wow, we got pineapple incense sticks, that's fancy. Oh my goodness, so many incense sticks. If you like incense, then this is definitely your section. And then... So I take it that incense is a... Uh major part of the praying or that word she just used i don't want to mispronounce it yeah for the puja guys please help me hand who are performing puja i know these are kind of powders that you may have to put on your forehead oh this is haldi which is turmeric and then this is kumkum i don't know oh vermilion this is also um the powder that um that married women um, wear on their forehead 
these are the dia lights so for the tea lights with the oil you combine it to you know um, to make a little light fire actually comfort we have over here oh and these are like ghee? your um so this is ghee which is clarified butter and then you have um yeah basically you can also burn it as a dia there you go for worshiping of the gods this is oh okay now i know this is for the dia so basically you put the oil in here and then the little light and then this becomes a flame yeah awesome i love this this section you will see as soon as you enter the supermarket i guess it must be best sellers because there were so many random things on the shelves next to each other i mean look at the chips the peanut butter and then the cereals i don't know it doesn't really make sense <laughs> however i decided to grab the peanut butter crunchy because i love it where is my crunchy peanut butter gang let me know down in the comments below there was also ghee here which is clarified butter Oops. a staple in indian cuisine and I wouldn't expect to find Fruit Loops in an Indian supermarket, but I mean, Kellogg's is one of the world's biggest brands, so I guess it makes sense. Tropical fruits jams in massive, massive jars, and it says Grandma's Jam Mango. I actually should have gotten that one, but I don't eat that many jams. However, I do love living in a country where tropical fruits are the standard. In the Netherlands, mostly apples and oranges are, oh my gosh, comparing apples and oranges, whatever. <laughs> mostly apples and oranges are the staple, so that's the kind of fruits that I'm used to. This Lulu hypermarket even has a dog section, and I ended up buying dog collars for the street dogs in my society. But then I actually got Aww. obsessed at the rice section because they had so much different varieties of rice we have reached the rice section and it is massive you that can try so many rice. different rices here one type of rice that i just recently discovered let me be that homey auntie to recommend you the rice <laughs> got it this is the correct one dawat rosanna basmati rice gold pay attention to the gold oh my god this rice is so good trust me try this rice and your life will be changed I, mean, I don't think we have that in the States. If you're living no, in India honestly. for this long, I've lived here for four years, and you eat rice almost every single day, then you start getting fussy about your rice, and then you understand that this is an amazing rice. I love it. The rice section actually is also super interesting because you can also see different shapes and types of rice. For instance, these flattened rice flakes are used in the Indian breakfast dish poha. And yeah, I didn't know what it was when I saw it for the first time. So in most grocery stores in the U.S., you're not going to find those little flake things. However, if you were to go into New York City or into Chicago or find a specialty grocery store for like Asian or Indian food, then you could probably find that. And that's kind of how we learn and get to try new things, right? That's why I love lo roaming so supermarkets large. because you just get to see new things and then Powerful. you can try them afterwards. For instance, Maggie noodles with milk. If you haven't tried that yet, then then can recommend it. There's a huge section with foreign food, so a lot of types of pasta. And then also the meat and fish section is separated from all the other foods in order you know, to keep it as hygienic as possible. And especially as a vegetarian, I find that quite comfortable. This is another breakfast favorite, which is puddu. It originates from Kerala and you have many different varieties of it. Actually, this whole section is Indian breakfast foods and I would 1010 recommend you to check it out. Out. especially these MTR small bags are ideal if you're living alone. This cereal as big in India as it is in the States, but in the United States you literally have a whole entire like aisle dedicated to cereal and oatmeal and breakfast foods. The hypermarket is set up in a large way. That's why I keep using the word massive. Honestly, look how wide these aisles are. Wow. And it's just so comfortable. It's wow. wider than aisles COVID times. in the When States. I shared the first stories on my Instagram that I visited this hypermarket, I already got some DMs of people who were raving about the freshness of the fruit and vegetables. As it is still strawberry season in India, I had to grab these. The candy section, like all the other sections, of course, had also to be massive. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed 
enjoyed uh, exploring all the chocolates here. I loved seeing the traditional Snickers. Indian candy, which is the um, orange bites, but especially the mango bites. These are very, very traditional Indian. I saw a good deal on these cappuccino candies. Look at the price, 35 rupees instead of 50. Oh yeah, I'm definitely taking this with me. So 100 rupees equals about $1.32. And looking at these prices, these prices are a little less than one you find in the States. But again, it kind of depends on where you shop also. Then also they had something else that I haven't seen Ooh, before. Snickers. Snickers with a butterscotch flavor. Butterscotch. And also Snickers with Kesar Pista, which is saffron and pistachio. And I had to try that. Next to High Street oh. Chocolate, they also had a section with design chocolates. So the fancy ones. I love seeing my Berry favorite milk. That's a German chocolates chocolate. from Indian origin here, or Paul and Mike. Then I would recommend you to try these, not just because they have a chocolate named Balkan Rose, and I'm born in the Balkans, but it's genuinely, genuinely really good. They had actually also, I think, 20 rupees discount on these, so of course I had to buy this one. The further back I moved into the hypermarket, the more my findings became obscure. No, I don't mean paneer. Of course, paneer is normal, but then they had a whole dairy section with dairy free cheese called Cheese. Cheese? Tree. <laughs> and then I even ended up finding tempeh tempeh in india oh my gosh so this is originally an indonesian food and i'm so happy that, that they have it in india now as soy? well this is the ice cream section soy where one day i still something? hope to find either paneer ice cream or ben and jerry's somebody please invent I paneer ice ben and cream jerry's. and somebody please import ben and jerry's ice cream in india i don't know why they are not here however what you can find are a lot of frozen That's too bad. indian foods you guys are missing like out for instance paratas and then as you can see there is a whole bakery section which really really made me drool i mean look at this crazy assortment of donuts and everything looks, oh, that looks super good. fresh you can even buy fresh cakes here and again it is set up so wide so there's plenty of space for everybody to walk around and you can even make your own fresh fruit salad here like what oh by the way i bought this date lassi which is the first date lassi that i have tried in my life 10, 10 would recommend. By the way, is 40 rupees expensive for this? I don't know. I just wanted to try it. There's also a hot food section where, again, the veg and the non-veg food is separated. And there is also a chat and snack section. And if you thought that was crazy, you can actually find a lot of household items here. From cooking pots, which are, you know... You can find a lot of these same things in United States grocery stores as well. And also in German supermarkets too stainless steel and keep your food warm to whole sets of crockeries and this blue set actually looked really pretty but how am i going to bring that home it is massive <laughs> honestly anything that you might need in your household from you know barbecues to cleaning utensils to laundry baskets they seem to have you everything can all find yes it it's kind of like they actually kind even of. had a section with scented candles which is not common in india so i was very very happy to see that and something else that i also really really enjoyed seeing was the stationary section I'm currently at the stationary section and i am losing my mind india doesn't really have a stationary culture yet the most cute stationery that you can find is usually on Amazon or like some online shops. But I always do feel that the prices are quite high. Here, as you can see, there's like so many notebooks. Really, really cute ones. Look at this. This is cute. This is cute. I love this. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. They have very basic ones too, but they also have cute ones and it makes me so happy. <laughs> After being exposed to so many new things in a supermarket for almost two hours, I promise you that not just mine in a hoarder, but also your in a hoarder will get completely on the loose. I was even looking into arts and crafts. I never do arts and crafts, but this looked so cute. And then there are so many notebooks. Again, this is a section where I could easily spend two hours on its own literally looking at every single notebook that i have i mean oh pretty blue color oh let me look at it why is there a parker logo on it i don't know anyways these towels are actually really really good so if you're in the home section would recommend these towels because they were only 100 rupees from what i can see and again wow, the inner order in me speaking to you look at these stunning stunning beauty candles. candles beauty candles 
birthday candles like how cute is this is it my birthday already not yet only in may but do i want birthday candles yes by now i want all of the birthday candles well i just finished my first shopping session here at lulu mall in bangalore the first mall with the hypermarket behind me it was really fun i ended up shopping way too much but i'll actually maybe film a separate video about that so first of all i can see why ivana is doing so well on YouTube. That vlog was beautifully put together. This store is definitely nicer and bigger than a lot of American grocery stores and malls even. This was impressive. So I'm glad I got to see this side of India. If you got any value from this video, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. Maybe check out some of these videos. Thanks for watching.